On Monday, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter made its first flight on Mars. But Ingenuity has performed its first flight. While hovering above the Martian surface, Ingenuity took this picture of its own shadow. The historic flight was the first time an aircraft has ever flown on a planet other than Earth. Applicate indicate shoot deploy. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution. Ingenuity was carried to Mars by NASA's Perseverance rover. Touchdown confirmed. Which landed on the red planet on February 18th after a seven month, 293 million mile voyage from Earth. So how was the Ingenuity engineered here on Earth before going to Mars? So Ingenuity was designed as a tech demo to show that aerial robotics like this are able to be used for planetary exploration. Ben Pippenberg is a senior aeromechanical engineer at Aerovironment, the contractor hired by NASA to build the aircraft. Right now we're in Aerovironment's clean room facility. I've personally spent thousands of man hours in this room. And this is the facility that we built a lot of the flight hardware that's currently on Ingenuity. It's actually on Mars. For the past seven years, Pippenberg has been working on making Ingenuity a reality. So that seven year development process uh, involved a lot of fabrication. So taking all of the raw components, turning that into molded, molded parts. And so, for example, using these kinds of carbon fiber materials, um, and molding that to develop the rotor blades on Ingenuity. Engineering something like this for an environment that we've never actually flown in before is very challenging. There have been a lot of other space probes and missions that have gone to Mars, and so we have some understanding of the environment. However, nobody's ever flown on Mars before. What we do know about the Martian environment suggests that flight as we know it would be difficult. The Martian atmosphere is much thinner than Earth's atmosphere. It's very similar to Earth at about 100,000 feet, actually. NASA and our environment had the challenge of designing a craft without being able to test in the environment in which it would fly. A lot of the testing that happened on the Mars helicopter happened at JPL's space simulator facility. It's a very large vacuum chamber that can be filled with CO2 gas to simulate the atmosphere on Mars. You know, it, it's a really special facility. There are very few like that in the world. To make Ingenuity a reality, NASA looked to a small defense contractor, Aerovironment, that specializes in unmanned aerial vehicles. So right now we're in Aerovironment's Nano Air Vehicle Lab. And this is a research and development space. And actually a lot of the products that have come out of Aerovironment have started in this lab. So this was one of the first helicopters that uh, we actually built and flew in the space simulator at JPL. Um, this was just a very simple model. It was attempting to demonstrate free flight um, in a Martian atmosphere. And it was the first helicopter that actually did that. This is one of the very early rotor blade designs that was tested. The engineering data that was generated from testing this prototype fed directly into the development of the final rotor blade system on, on Ingenuity. Ben Pippenberg played a major part in designing and building the high-speed counter-rotating helicopter blades. The rotor blades on Ingenuity are designed from a composite material, so it's carbon fiber over an engineering foam material. They're very, very lightweight and they're very rigid, and that's required to uh, control the helicopter and to make the whole thing light enough to be able to fly. NASA officials have likened Ingenuity to the Wright Brothers' flyer, which in 1903 made the first controlled powered flight on Earth, a 12-second, 120-foot trip. In homage to that flight, Ingenuity carries with it a swatch of fabric from the flyer on the underside of its solar panels. NASA says it plans to conduct up to five additional flights over the next month. These future flights will test the helicopter's ability to fly higher and longer. Meanwhile, the Perseverance rover will be nearby, observing and recording the historic flights.